So I actually already filmed the intro to this video um, last week when I actually did the video but for some reason I can't find the footage so yeah. Um, but basically this video is going to be just me showing you how I do my French plaits. Um, I do have to use like quite a lot of bobber pins mostly like at the back here because yeah. If you have seen my other videos you might know that I had some hair fall out so it's like growing back now and I had a patch at the back that I didn't realise. So yeah, I am. Um, it's fine long enough to like two plait, I just have to use a lot of bobby pins. So I decided to do this video for you guys just because I tend to get a lot of questions whenever I have my hair like this of how I do it, um, if anyone else does it for me and if they don't like how I managed to do it myself and everything like that. So yeah, I just thought I would put it in a video and then hopefully that'll answer all of your questions. Okay, so start off by taking your hair down. Okay, so now that all your hair is down, you want to start to section the hair into two sections. Then you want to start by getting one of the sections and putting it in a bubble just to keep that away from the other section. So once you've done that you're going to then apply some product. I started off by applying some hair oil. So you just want to start by running the product through the hair with your fingers. It will help to separate it and also help to gather the hair together. So now you want to get your brush and then just start to brush the first section of your hair. And then repeat on the other side. And then take the section that you're not going to use first and start to twist it. And then put it in a bun just to keep it out of the way and nice and secure so it doesn't come out while you're doing the other side the Cantu Natural Hair Shea Butter Moisturising Curl Activator Cream which I love for my hair. It keeps it nice and smooth and the curls actually look like curls, not like just a frizzy mess. So I only take a small amount, rub it in the palm of my hands and then I will just put that through the hair and work it through my fingers. Once I've done that, I will then take my hairbrush and brush the product through the hair just to make sure it gets all through and everything is distributed evenly. So now I'm going to start by taking a small section at the top of my head. Then I will start to separate that section into three smaller sections and I will just begin to plait it so I take one strand over the other and then the other strand over the other. Once I've done that twice I then grab another section from the back, separate it and add it into the furthest section that's closest to that. And then I pull that through and then I'll grab a section at the front and put that with the closest section to it. Add them together and then pull that under again and then I just basically keep repeating that step until there's no more hair to gather onto the back of my neck.
Now that you've added all of the hair from the top of your head and going to your neck, you then want to brush the hair what's remaining and then just carry on plaiting it like a normal plait until you reach the bottom and then secure it with a hair bubble. Okay, so to secure the hair, I just use these hair bubbles, and I think I got them from Boots or Superdrug. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to do the exact same process, but on the other side. Once you've completed this, then you want to get some hairspray and start spraying your hair to make sure it all stays in place. I'm now going to start taking some bobby pins and just pinning the hair that's either sticking up or that I want to be extra secure. Just making sure that everything's okay and just make sure that everything stays in place. Now I'm just going to start spraying the rest of the braid just to make sure that all stays and I don't get too many flyaways. I'm then going to start to spray my hair on the sides and then put a brush through it just to make sure that those bits go down and stay in place once I pin them. This is the finished look. So the hairpins that I used were from Superdrug. 
And then the hairspray that I used was the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray, which is my all-time favourite spray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!